Hi everybody, welcome back to my farmhouse today. I am really glad to have you all here. And as you can see, I have on short sleeves. It is a nice warm day that feels like spring. So last week, if you remember my video, everything was covered with ice and snow, which is not normal for our normal weather. Um, we had like one of the coldest weeks and I think a really, really long time, like years, almost in my whole life. I, I think it probably was the coldest it's ever been for the longest amount of time in my whole entire lifetime last week. But this week we are having the most beautiful weather that um, feels like spring. I'm sure we'll have another cold snap at least one time, but it's making everybody really ready to get out in the yards, get out in the gardens and just do some fun stuff. So I am sitting on my front porch and what I want to talk to you about is this porch because we have recently done some um, repairs and renovation to our porch and it's honestly just making me so happy. Every time I come out here, I just feel so excited and so happy about the porch because it has never looked this good in the whole time that we've owned the house. So our house was built in the 1800s and um, we purchased it in 1991. So we've owned this house for 30 years. So there's a few contributing factors to the reason the porch got in as bad a shape it was, as it was in. And one of them is that when we bought the house, it had um, metal awnings all around the top of the porch. And I'm gonna show a picture of what those look like. They made the house look um, real squatty and short because they came down so far. And then when you were on the porch, they made it kind of dark. So we ended up taking them off. And um, of course we learned over the years that they were there for a purpose and one of them was to keep the porch from getting wet and rot, rotting. Um, and so with them not up there, that's what happened over time. Uh, so we are debating on putting those back up. We still have them, they're stored. And so. so this is actually the second time that we've had to do porch repairs. Um, the first time we redid the porch was in the year 2000, somewhere around the year 2000. So, um, you know, 20 years ago, we redid it. And over the course of that time to now, it had gotten really bad again. So I told y'all in my, um, like my Christmas gift video that for the last few years, what my husband and I have done is picked a project, a house project to do for like our Christmas presents. And so this year the porch was the Christmas present project. And um, I'm not sure if it makes him as happy as it makes me, but I am loving my Christmas present. I'm just gonna go through and show you what the porch looked like and you know, tell you what we did to it. Now I can tell you this, anytime you work on a house that's over a hundred years old, it's never as simple as it seems like it would be. Um, nothing's ever straightforward. There's always a problem. And usually you don't know what it is until you get in the middle of the project and then you figure out what the problem is. So the problem with fixing the porch this time, and. You know, so it was also a problem 20 years ago when we fixed the porch the first time, and that was finding the right size boards for the floor. 
because back when this porch was built, um, a board that is like a one inch board is not the same size that the same, if you bought the same board today in a one inch board, they're not the same size. Um, they don't match up, like they're just, they're not the same. The boards today are smaller, um, and so that causes a problem. Well, 20 years ago when we fixed it, there was one um, lumber yard in the area that we were able to find the right size boards at. And so we got those and they did match up with the ones that were already on the porch. We didn't want to have to take all of the boards off of the porch and redo all of them. And so we did find some and were able to patch the rotten spots and the holes and all of that stuff. Fast forward 20 years and this time we, um, well, we thought we found a place that we could get the boards. They told us they had, you know, the full one inch boards and um, my husband went down there. He actually measured the boards. They looked like they measured up to be right. And so he purchased enough boards that we needed to patch all of the places that were messed up. But as soon as he started cutting out the rotten places and adding those boards in, we figured out that they weren't right. They weren't the same size. They weren't as big as the old boards. The tongue and groove didn't match up. So what you ended up was just with a huge mess. Like if you, if we had put those boards in there, they would have been lower than the other boards and um, they didn't fit together. So they would have been loose. It just wouldn't work. So that was our first obstacle. And so we were back to the drawing board and trying to figure out what we were gonna do for the porch. The only option at that point would have been to take all the boards up, buy all new boards, and put those down. That was definitely some, not what we wanted to do. We tried to leave as much of the house original as we can when we renovate it, and so we didn't really want to, you know, take all of the old boards up. So we remembered that a while back we had um, gotten a lot of old boards from someone in the same town that we live in, not real close to our house, but they were redoing their front porch on a house that was probably about the same age as ours. And they just took all the boards up and bought all new boards. So they were just getting rid of the old ones, which some of them were bad and rotten, but other ones were fine. Like, especially, you know, the closer up to the house they get, they, they're not bad. So they had given us those boards and, um, we got them because my husband makes um, like furniture and stuff out of reclaimed wood and so that's what we got those boards for and we remembered that we had them so he went and checked and they weren't a perfect match to ours but they were almost the right size and so we were able to use those boards that we had gotten off of another old house to patch the holes in our floor and fix the um, floor of our porch. So that is how we overcame that obstacle. Now, <clears throat> if you look really close, which it's hard to tell now that it's painted, but before it was painted, you can see they didn't match up perfectly, so they're not exactly the same. And the other obstacle with those were that they were supposed to be four inches wide, but they weren't all the same. Some of them were narrower and some of them were wider. So um, we had to make those fit, but they're okay. And now that it's all painted, you can't really even tell that they were like that. The one thing that we had never done to this porch was we never repainted it. We left it pretty original. So you can see the paint colors that were on the floor. A lot of that is worn off over the years. Um, so there's just a little bit of it left, but that's there. And then we never repainted the ceiling which is this um, green color that was very popular back in that, you know, time. The things in our house that were painted were painted this same green color. And you can see it on the ceiling. You can see how chippy it is. And um, it's just kind of a pretty big mess. But at the time that we chose not to repaint, all of this stuff was in a lot better condition and it didn't look as bad as it does now. So our 
first step after getting the um, boards on the porch was to sand down that ceiling at the top and paint it. And so um, we had to decide what color we wanted to paint it. We decided to try to match the colors. So that's what I did for the paint colors for the porch is I matched the original green on the ceiling as close as I could and the original gray on the floor. Which we started this project a little like at the beginning of November. And um, we're actually just finishing it mainly because of the weather. That's the thing that really has, you know, slowed the project down and held it up because we get a lot of rain here and you can't do an outside project in the rain. So here's what the porch looks like after the ceiling was sanded and the floors were repaired. And now it's just kind of in limbo waiting for the next stage, which is going to be to prime everything and get it ready to paint. So even though our porch hasn't been painted yet, we decided to set up out here and have our family Thanksgiving. Our kids are coming over and um, so it'll just be a small Thanksgiving here, but we decided to do it out here on our porch. So, cause we're pretty excited about having it be usable again. So just showing you what it looks like. And the other thing is you can probably hear the rain it's nine o'clock in the morning and it wasn't supposed to start raining until two o'clock this afternoon so we thought that we would have plenty of time to um you know eat out here for lunch and then be done before the rain started but yep so the rain has started so i don't really know what is going to happen with that but this is our setup that we have on our porch for thanksgiving this year so that's pretty exciting So shortly after Thanksgiving, we were able to get our porch primed. And I just want to say that we so enjoyed having Thanksgiving on the porch that we are hoping that it'll be warm enough every year that we can do that and make it a new family tradition because it really was a fun time. But this is the porch after we got everything primed. My daughter calls it the winter porch because everything was white, you know, like it, the snow in the winter. And so, Again, it got stuck here for several weeks because of the weather. It was either too wet or too windy. We would have some really pretty shiny days, but it was just too windy to get out and um, paint. So it finally came a day that we were able to paint. And so we got started with that project.
Yeah, paint that board again. Paint the one underneath it too. The next one down. Down. Okay. This one? The next one down. This one? That one. We still have to fix this front edge right here and like that little piece of wood right there. We didn't get that done yet. And then we have to decide if we're gonna put those awnings back up that were all around this top edge. And the other thing that we have to decide is whether we're gonna cut down these huge old camellia trees. They're really beautiful, but they are really big and they do hide the house. But when you're over here on the porch, they do give you this really pretty nice sense of privacy from this side right here. So that's kind of nice. But here is the finished porch, all painted ceiling um, this light fixture I bought at a garage sale several years ago I had a place that I was going to use it and then I ended up not using it there so um, I just decided to use it on the porch and I really like the way it turned out so our screens are off right now we're working on repairing them you know redoing them and how to get them new the front door has not been painted yet I'm not sure what color I want to paint it and it normally has a screen door there too and then I was planning to repaint these old rockers but I really kind of like the chippy look so I don't know I haven't decided if I'm gonna repaint them or leave them chippy what do you think I should do with those and you can also tell me what you think we should do about the awnings this is where they would be they would go all the way around this top edge of the porch and then we have to decide if we're going to put the handrail back up too you can see the handrail in that picture that i put up of the porch when we bought the house what it looked like So, there we go. I want to thank y'all for being here today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you back again next week with a new video.